Yeah, hello guys, it's 4K Photography here and welcome to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can copy um, a color grid from an image like this and apply it on another image rather. So what um, <clears throat> we are going to do is very simple. What I'm going to use is an extension called the uh, NDPCMX, which is the Nino Batista Color Map X. This is the extension I'm talking about. It's is amazing because it is it really does everything for you automatically it helps you to copy a color grid from one image and apply it on another image with just a few steps and a few tweaks so i have um different images here which we are going to try it on them to see how it works on different images <clears throat> so without wasting much time let's begin what we are seeing here is um, two different images one on the left which is the example two and the one on the right is the example six so i want to copy the color grid of um sorry the color grid on the um example two image on the example six image and with the help of this extension the mvp color map x what i'm going to do is i'll make sure the example two image is selected <coughs> like this and when you look at this extension this NDP color map x you can see up here we have samples these samples gives you a maximum of 10 colors which it can sample from the image you want to copy you are sorry you are copying the color grid from so assuming this example 2 image when i select my samples to 10 and click on analyze You can see when you check on this current palette, um, it has um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 different colors over here. But mostly I've been working with 3 to 5 samples, which really works amazing for me. So what I'm going to do is I'll select the example 2 and sell make um, my samples I'll, I'll bring my samples down to um i think five is cool and click on analyze it's one analyze and sample five colors which we have our shadows midtones and highlights what i'm going to do is i'll make sure this image is selected and for reference sake i'll duplicate this layer and i'll click on this dot up here and click on apply color grading and just like that you can see the difference before after before after but we are not done we are not done yet though it's looking amazing it's looking amazing but we are not done yet i will duplicate this cmx layer and the base layer i'll change the blending mode to yes i'll change it to hue So it's as simple as this and it's amazing it's amazing so let's try this same image i'm sorry this same color grid on um this example five image so i'll select this image analyze i think i i have the um colors on the current sorry the current palette so i'll just select the example 5 and apply color grading 
and it is it, is really amazing just look at the difference so i'll duplicate this as well change this to heal bring down the opacity a bit but you can you can you can actually tweak or change the blending mode to see what it really works um fine for your image or good for your image because sometimes the hue doesn't work um great depending on how especially when you are, when you are working on um greens it doesn't work amazing or doesn't look amazing so i would advise you that sometimes when it doesn't look amazing don't give up just try to change um um the blending mode to see which one works fine for your image i'll pick the soft light and reduce my opacity to 36 let me group this and this are before and after so you can see that we, we just transferred the color accent of this image into this image with just a few steps thank you for watching um see you in another video peace out please don't forget to like and subscribe